How do you do, fellow school kids? It's me, a fellow school kid. Average Twitter experience as a teen. Quick note, I do love how to this day, we all mostly refuse to call it X. Hi, baby boy. Oh. 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 Three words in and I'm already grossed out. Hi, baby boy. Look at my profile picture. You like boys, don't you? Oh. Oh, there's so many things wrong with this already. Fact one, both of this media is hidden because it's coming from someone you don't follow. Okay, yes, immediate red flag there. But also, most importantly, it's at 1 a.m. The only messages you should be comfortable getting at 1 a.m. are from people you're totally mutually into or your friends. This person, uh, I mean, look, I think they're still gonna go to jail for this, but anyway, let's see how they react a minute after doing all this. Don't open my chat! You're 17, I'm so freaking sorry! Stay, stay in school! Dude, goodbye, blocking you now, I'm sorry! Pro tip to my fellow adults who want to avoid ever being in this situation. I, I know it's apparently difficult, but just don't message random people online. Girls need to stop lying about their age. God damn, bro. I'm talking to this girl who's still in high school, but she's 18 and I'm 19. I'm chatting her up, she's into me, and I'm kinda into her, but then she goes, I need to get my license soon, but I'll get it as soon as I turn 18. <laughs> Excuse me? What do you mean as soon as you turn 18? You said you was 18. Well, turns out she was lying so she could talk to me, but now that I know she's 17 and I'm about to turn 20, I cannot be talking to her no more. Oh, you're fine, buddy. So what if everyone's gonna think that you're only really dating her because legally you couldn't date her any earlier? It doesn't matter that she's proven that she's willing to lie to get what she wants. It's love. You haven't eaten in 24 hours. How many can you eat in one sitting? Oh, give me some of those cookies with a little, little bit of tea. Or maybe even... Mm. Maybe even a coffee. Okay, so that just made me sound like more of a, a 50 year old than, than a teenager relatable experience. No, no, seriously, have these with some sort of hot beverage. It, mm, maybe. What am I looking at? Get me out of this school, bro. Good morning, crewmates. Today's tasks are as follows. Oh boy. Oh God. Read pages nine to 13 in the textbook. Answer questions three, four, and five on page 13. In complete sentences. This task will be graded, so unless you are the imposter. <laughs> you didn't need to go out of your way to put sus in brackets. You, you didn't. Anyway, make sure it's turned in before the bell. It will not be taken for late credit. Remember, always be bussin'. Never be sussin'? What? <laughs> Keep it skibbity and have a riz-tastic sleigh and big chungus weekend. Oh. Oh, the fact this is an r slash teenagers really frightens me that this was made for high school students and not like kids in grade three. I'd accept this if this was for people aged six to nine. I freaking hate being 13. Yesterday, my whole class had to stay behind for 30 minutes because some kid kept yelling Sigma Sigma on the wall. Who's the skippiest of the wall? <laughs> Oh, see, this is why I could, I should never be a, some sort of teacher of any kind for anyone under the age of 16. I wouldn't be good at putting down authority. I would laugh with this. I would probably encourage it because it's so stupid. <sighs> I received an unsolicited boob pic. I'm so freaking grossed out. Like, she started talking to me in a normal way and then suddenly she just sent that. Why are there people like that? Like, what do you even get by making teens uncomfortable on the internet? I hate that so much. Freaking uh, 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 documentation file options uh, when exporting a document that you've typed up. Meanwhile in the comments, why doesn't this happen to me, bro? <laughs> why would you want to be a victim? Also, look, I get it feels more special when you get that, you know, farm to plate delivery sort of experience, but, but there are so many online that can achieve the same result for you. You you know, please, young soldier, don't determine your happiness and joy in life by whether or not you get to witness some memories. They are, they are literally so accessible. Why do straight girls make out? <laughs> 
was talking to two straight girls at a party and they just started making out. Like, what the hell? I'm not mad, just confused. Now look, don't feel bad about being confused. If anything, they were also confused. <laughs> Hence the curiosity, or you know, for all you know, they probably already were very aware of the fact that they're not purely uh, a quote unquote straight as you think. My girlfriend doesn't want to do anything smexual. Me and my girlfriend have been dating for eight months now and just the other day she told me that she doesn't ever want to do anything intimate because she's not interested in it. However, I was looking for something like that in a relationship because I'm 18 and have never had anything close to that. I don't know what to do, and any and all help would be appreciated. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna uh, start a little tally here. Just gonna put a little line there as one of the many moments where Jack has been an assumptuous prick. Anyway, buddy, let me be your uh, uncle with the good advice, and here's what you can do. Respect her. Don't you dare imply it's an issue. Say that you're okay with this because you're too afraid to confront her about it and the fact that it's a clear representation of you both having different desires and expectations in a relationship. Relationships are hugely about finding a middle ground or being willing to compromise out of respect for your partner. However, this is a huge disparity between you both, and both of you seem set on your ways, so this might be a deal breaker. A lot of people here are assuming that you got into a romantic relationship solely for that intimacy. Like, that's an unfair assumption. Look, that kind of stuff is fun, it's cool, but what better way to have it than with someone you're in a well-developed relationship with? In my opinion, this all was stuff that should have been discussed way before y'all got into to the eight months mark, I find it hard to believe it never came up in conversation. But now that you recognize this, and assuming you have respect for yourself and your girl, you'd realize you owe it to her and yourself to leave and find a better match. Though I will say that you might regret it. Teenage relationships going longer than six months are rare. But know that if either of you try to force a compromise, at least one of y'all will resent the other. Heavy emphasis on, uh, you know, deal breakers. Like really, there is nothing more valuable valid to end a relationship than with something that literally is about respecting the other person and yourself. She's 17, I'm turning 18 in a few months. Will I go to prison? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, look, I, I guess it does depend where you live, but is it is it really that dramatic? I really don't want Kendrick to make a club banger about me. Ah, oh, come on now. People have gotten famous for worse. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes, says teen who karate kicked 74-year-old man into River Mercy. <laughs> I was just walking down the street and then uh, listening to my music and my Spotify playlist suddenly started playing Dark Souls boss music and, you know, he was the only one there. It just, it was a foggy day. I, I, I made a mistake. What is your eye color? Wow, God. Is it, is there really that many different eye colors? I, I swore there was like seven at most. <laughs> I, I genuinely didn't know we lived in a society that was Naruto eyeballs. Girls, if you do any of these, you will be irresistible to men. Advanced redstone in Minecraft. Blast jumping plus air strafing in Team Fortress 2. Brake drifting in Mario Kart. Bunny hopping in Quake or any game. Quick scoping in any FPS. Fellas, leave your own in the comments. Mine would be knowing how to fix my game after I put 400 mods into it. I don't know anything about coding. Please help. <laughs> when you notice there's a hair on your screen. Oh, you son of a- you. <laughs> okay, kids, for today's lesson, you're going to learn where doxing is okay. Boys, did my barber frick me up. Don't worry, gals and non-binary pals. We, we can include you in this one. Don't worry, it's okay. No doubt the entire purpose of getting this haircut was to impress either one of you. So, let us know your thoughts here's there before, and through the magic of transition editing, here's there after. Was your barber your grandmother? Barber thought you'd be best suited for the Roman tonsure haircut. Really showing your devotion and humility to your religion. Lads, this is what happens when you pay less than $30 for a haircut. I say this from multiple experiences of getting this haircut. So don't be me, boys. Don't try to be cheap before you're about to film a bunch of episodes for national TV, because then your shame is there forever. Forever cemented into the impressionable minds of the five people who watch the show seeing the results of someone's haircut after that barber watched a five-minute YouTube tutorial on how to do a fade. My best friend kissed me. Yay! 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 Is that good? 
Hello, teenagers. I'm a 15-year-old boy, and my best friend of about nine to eight years kissed me on the lips yesterday. I didn't push him off of me because it felt right. I mean, I've kissed and dated tons of girls, but I've never felt this way when I kissed one. I've never had attraction towards the same gender, and I grew up in a Catholic household, and I've been taught to hate the LGBTQ+. Uh, my parents told me I'd either go to hell if I kissed a boy, or they would kick me out of the house. But I really liked when he kissed me, so I'm just feeling really weird about this whole thing. Uh, edit. I've known him for nine to eight years. He is not nine or eight. Oh god. Oh yeah, yeah. Be, uh, glad you clarified that one. We're both 15. Uh, apologize to the few people who misinterpreted it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give this a yay, yay but with considerations. You could be realizing something about yourself. You could also just be excited by the taboo of it all. But I mean, either way, there's nothing wrong with exploring it. Name the apps that do this. I'm genuinely curious. I hate those apps that shut off my music when I open them. Like, just how important do you think you are? <laughs> how dare they have the audacity to play the thing that they assumed you wanted to happen by you tapping on their icon? Guys, is this W Riz? Scrub Mommy! Will you be my scrub mommy? Absolutely not. You, 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 you just asked her to be a cleaning product. Hey, are you an inefficient cleaning lady who's leaving things on the floor for me to trip over because you made me fall for you? Yeah, that one has layers. For real, brew, sad emoji with the high fives, but with myself. Please be relatable. God, making all the girls I like taken or lesbian. Okay, something tells me this is the same person who is confused by seeing girls just suddenly make out with each other. Turns out he has every right to be suspicious and confused. It's God changing their preferences halfway through conversing with them. <laughs> I'm gonna make that one a loner. What song is it for you? The song. Oh, that part that makes you feel like you're on an astral journey! For me, and I blame my sister for this because she wanted horses growing up and so I was exposed to that a lot, it's either Run by Delta Ray or United We Stand, Divided We Fall by Two Steps From Hell. I don't go on an astral journey, but I do wish I could suddenly have the speed of a horse and just gallop through a field. CONFESS! What is the last song you listened to? I wanna know. I'm over here listening to my music. I got headphones on my ears. I'm over here straight humming my songs. I'm groovy as Flip Man. I'm a listener for real. Dang, Dango. At what point does the meme just... It, just make an entirely different meme. You've, you've edited over this thing so much that it's completely different. Anyway, to commit to the topic at hand, what was the last song I listened to? It was Barbie by Aqua. Why was I listening to it? There, that's why. And I'm not gonna give any further context as to what that was for. A girl in my class gave this to me? <laughs> oh my god! Oh gang, oh they went as far as to give you the... To give you the whole package. Emphasis on package. See, what I'm worried about though... <laughs> Sugoi, lovely. Uh, what I'm worried about is if you actually look like this. Because... Then it, and then it's a bit scary, a bit concerning, you know? Like, is this how they view you in their perception of the reality? Or is this just what they expect of you, you know? Because then, then there's just pressure. It just feels like there's pressure on you now to look like this. My boyfriend won't let me use tampons? 15 female and I'm dating an idiot. Oh, sorry. A guy. 15 male. I'm going on a camping trip tomorrow and my period is supposed to start sometime during it. And we are camping at a lake. I've never tried tampons, only pads for four years. I really want to swim on the trip, but my boyfriend said he wasn't comfortable with me wearing tampons. He can be weird about stuff like this, so I mentioned the possibility two days prior, and he was perfectly fine with it, but now that my mom actually bought them for me, he suddenly is uncomfortable with it. He wouldn't tell me why he was uncomfortable, he just changed the subject. I don't know what to do. Some extra information, I don't have my virginity, it was taken by an ex, I regret it a lot, and my boyfriend knows this completely. I also have been dating him for a little under a year, so it isn't a new relationship either, and he's never been this insistent about something. Well, there goes my that-sized bit of sympathy for this person's, uh, logic. What a boy is scared that you're not gonna find him as satisfying because... 
apparently he's smaller than a tampon. I mean, way to call yourself out, bro. Edit two, he was raised conservatively. Oh, there it is. And I don't think he ever got his mum to explain periods to him. His family has nothing against tampons, as his mum keeps some for me, along with pads, in the guest bathroom for when I come over. So it seems the bro here unfortunately has a lot of say over what she does. But thankfully, it seems that isn't going to be the case anymore, because edit number three, I'm currently on the camping trip and I brought them without telling him. Now, I don't mean to be a Reddit comment on r slash dating advice, but please break up with this person as soon as possible. Not just because they clearly can't respect you and your literal biology, but because the sooner you reveal this to them and make them have an epiphany of realizing that they're in the wrong here or just a completely cringy person, the sooner they can improve on that. And thank God they'd learn that when then, you know, not in their early 20s. What's your taste? The f what the f <laughs> What is that? Who are you? We don't need you in this image. This is It's got it's like imp ears? What what degree of ears is that? Is that goblin ears? I need someone who's experienced in fantasy ear cosplay. Someone to find this for me. Screw your zodiac sign. How do you like your toast? I do love that how on the real extreme end of the spectrum here. Are there really any much difference between 13A and 13E? I'll take uh, one slice as A1 and the other slice as 13E. It'll balance each other out. Help me understand transgenders, y'all. I'm not trying to be offensive. Oh boy. Oh, oh this is a time for a little model cat walk down a runway filled with eggshells. Here's their current understanding of it all. I too was once a man trapped in a woman's body. Then I was born. Yeah, suck it, conservatives. We're all trans. <laughs> Every one of us. This is the science of it. Am I gonna get bullied for having these things on my backpack? Oh, there's far too many quote-unquote waifus on this backpack for me to, um... Look, I try to be supportive of whatever anyone has an interest in. You know, if you're interested in it, you you let, you let make it your thing, you know? I don't want I don't want someone who's half-assed into what they're into. So if you want everyone to know you goon to anime girls, that's okay. You do you. Just, you know, there's stereotypes among different cultures and interests and hobbies. So it's best to consider how you challenge that as an individual so people don't assume that very same thing of you when you are parading with all these babooby anime girls. So I'm stamping this down as a maybe. How about this one though? Will I get bullied if I bring this backpack to school? No, this one's fine. See, everyone would uh, at first think that you were just a really childish, you know, clearly haven't grown up past 12 because uh, of all the toy plushies and stuff all over there. But you've let everyone know that you love mothers that you'd like to fornicate with. So clearly, you're someone who is at least 15 years old. See, previous backpack person, see how this person is doing their best to challenge the stereotypes that uh, would be thrust upon them by exercising their interest in certain things that often have a bit of a negative connotation around them. They're challenging the perspective that they might be an immature person by pointing out that, hey, they like to bang moms. So well done to this one. I'm gonna stamp this one as a no. You will not get bullied. Am I gonna be bullied for these things on my backpack? Oh, three tiny pins. Pathetic. Yes, stamping yes there. Yes there. Yes there. Pathetic. Clearly, see the half assing it, not even committing all the way. You should have pins everywhere. Just three pins. Either you're just on the fence about wanting to decorate your backpack, or you're just too poor to afford anymore. Come on, make a decision.